Hello, I'm here at the Crumbs and Doilies kitchen and last week you probably, hopefully saw, a video that I did with my friend Sally to give you the tips on how to make your sugar pasted layer cakes perfect and smooth. Um, and in that uh, video we used a Madeira cake for our base because it's a nice sturdy cake. It's delicious and light but it gives you a nice um, sturdy base for your heavy sugar paste. And since then I have had so many requests for my Madeira cake recipe. So that's what I'm about to give you now. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get my tins prepared. I'm using 8 inch tins and I'm going to make 4 layers. So obviously I have to prepare 4 tins. And I'm just going to grease them and line the bottom of them. Now you probably already know this, but I like to always do my layer cakes in baked in layers rather than doing sort of one big fat cake. Main thing is it creates a nicer, fluffier cake um, and also it reduces the cooking time by loads so you can knock them out quicker. Now, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'm using this. It's a basically vegetable oil in a spray and it's just super quick and really easy, but for flavour and better results, I've always liked using butter much more. But either is fine, whatever you have to hand. And I've also got some discs of greaseproof paper, which I'm just going to pop in the bottom. So once your tins are ready, it's time to get on with making the batter. So I'm going to start by mixing my flours together. I'm using a combination of plain flour and self-raising flour. I'm, the self-raising flour is really only there to give it a little bit of a lift. I've got 150 grams of that and 460 grams of plain flour. So I'm just going to put that to one side for later and start by creaming my butter and sugar together. And I have 610 grams of unsalted butter. It's nice and soft. Just going to put that in my mixer. And to that, I'm going to add 610 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to beat that for quite a long time. I want to make it really super duper pale, and this will take about five or six minutes. So that's lovely and floppy and white now, which is perfect. So now it's time to add the eggs. I have nine large free range eggs, which does sound like a lot, doesn't it? But it's enough. So I'm going to put two at a time and mix them really well in between each one. And just keep going until you've added all your eggs. That's all my eggs in. It's looking pretty good right now, but it needs my flour put in. So I'm just going to lower that, give myself a bit more room. And I'm going to fold this in, or if you're using a mixer like me, just use the lowest speed possible. Just wipe this in first. And on it goes. Now you only want to mix this for the briefest time, just until all that flour is incorporated fully. Pretty much there, so it's now time to add the last ingredient, which is three tablespoons of whole milk, and I've also added a teaspoon of vanilla extract to that. That is ready, so it's time to pop it into my tins. My top tip for getting an even amount into each of the tins without having to measure it is to go one scoop at a time in each tin and just keep going around until you've got rid of all your batter. And once all your batter's in, you just need to grab a pallet knife and just level them off. And once you've levelled all four layers off, you just need to bake those at 170 degrees for 24 to 26 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean.
So they're out of the oven and they're looking absolutely gorgeous, really nice and golden on top. They've all risen perfectly, so there you go, a delicious Madeira cake. This is perfect for when you're doing layer cakes and you want to sugar paste them. Even they're really good for like carved cakes if you're shaping, if you're making like a, you know, a dinosaur shaped cake, this is a good one to start with. Um, and they're just good to eat, even without all that stuff. So give it a go, and if you do want to learn how to sugar paste your cakes like an absolute pro, then don't forget to check out the video that we made last week by clicking on the link. I'll be back next week with another recipe video for you guys, so until then, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link at the end, and I'll see you then. Bye!